Welcome back to Anderson's TV. Today's video is our first impressions of the new Eventide H90. Welcome back. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Enjoying yes. the sunshine right yes, now. Absolutely. It's wonderful. Right um, as Tomorrow's I said before, good. this is our first look at the Eventide H90. Quite excited about this. The H9 uh, yeah. and the H9 Max was a real kind of go-to pro pedal for a lot of touring absolutely. guitar players. I had uh, two of them actually. And sorry to interrupt, but if you want to watch the video I did ages ago downstairs, just me going through the H90 uh, Max. <laughs> You can watch the video up there. It must be that. about four or five years old now. Um, <laughs> there we go. So anyway, the H90 is a lot more than just two H9s together. So we're going to go into that in a minute. However, before we do that, yes. I just want to give a quick shout out. Um, we're using a stereo rig. Okay, so we've got a guitar into a drive pedal, into the H90, into the two clean Victory amplifiers. Mm -hmm. And often, you'll know this if you do this yourself, if you start using multiple amplifiers and stuff, yes, it looks like <laughs> a dangerous piece of liquid. That whole um, if you start using multiple amplifiers, you can often get hums and loops uh, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, our friends at Morley have had a product available in the uh, US, mm -hmm. uh, which is like a, a, a plug eliminator. socket, that, yeah. Um, like, and yeah, it's like a plug socket, so it's like a US style two pin plug socket that you then plug your um, okay. regular mm -hmm. uh, mains input into that. Yeah. And it's, I think it's their biggest selling product they yeah. do, but it's also certainly one of their biggest selling products that they do because it gets rid of um, that kind of weird 60 Ground cycle loops, hum yeah, and yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. Anyway, because it's two pin, it's not been uh, able to sell it uh, anywhere else in the world because it wouldn't work. Yeah. And I was talking to the guys from Morley and they were saying rather than develop the product into, you know, multiple versions like a Euro style yeah, yeah, it's all different UK plus, style, yeah, yeah, yeah. they've done it's this, clever. which is very clever, right? It's an IC cable uh, where the one side would, you'd plug your normal, you know, into the main socket, other side into your guitar amplifier or whatever device uh, yeah. takes this. And Essentially, it is their hum elimination technology. Good and name as well. We'll do a, a proper video on this, but I can assure you, you just we've just used one, and I think that's the point. So yeah. we have one amp with this cable in it, and yeah. one with the regular yeah. mains cable. And off and the hum it's, goes. It's completely eliminated hum, the, no. the, the hum that we have. It's not again. The, the, I, I'm interested to see how this works. We did a Steve Vai clinic recently at, at a bigger venue in, in Guildford and had horrendous mains hum. I wish, we'd, I wish this had been invented before then. Mm. So I'm interested to know how much hum it would go, but relatively sort of low level hum, slightly annoying, but not really annoying, yeah. has completely eliminated that. So excellent. These are available to buy from Anderton's links below. And it's called, called a, a Morley Hum No. Hum No. Now, no also, hum. Now, Pete hasn't seen this yet. I wanted to get his first reaction. Uh, I came back to my office today to find a little parcel with a beautiful card with a frog on a stick um, in it. And it says, Dear Lee, use this on any future guests who refuse to plug into a valve amp, lol. Thanks again for having me. Hope to do it again soon. <laughs> Angel. Oh, it said from Angel. <laughs> yes, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, what a legend! So that's it. Be warned. If you come to Anderson's, you refuse to use a valve amplifier, you shall be imprinted oh, with man, an Anderson's what a logo that's so cool, on man. your backside. You Thank you, serve, Angel. Or you can serve olives on it if you have Maybe a, we'll do know. that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that's what he meant it for. I might try later um, on and send him some pictures. So that's fun. Anyway, right, back into the video. Oh, what a legend. Um, the H90. Now, I have the H90 website. If you're not familiar with Eventide, oh. they're kind of heritage in the guitar world goes right back to the uh, H9000, you know, used for pitch shifting effects and, and stuff back other, in the day. They've got lots of rack unit stuff mm -hmm. they made way back it in the day. It was super, yeah, super, yeah. you know, one of those Top brands that along with 
Um, SSL, desks, and all of those. Neve yeah, and, I was going to say all that original kind of probably um, lexicon yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. style reverbs yeah. and all of that stuff. Super top end stuff. Back so, in the day. anyway, uh, H90, a couple of things a little different. So, so, I think the headline news for H90 was that unlike H9, you, you essentially could have multiple effects used on the same patch. Yeah. Um, and it now it has a dual signal path, so it can be used as, uh, you know, true stereo. So you could have one effect on one side, another effect on the other. Mm -hmm. um, because it's got an improved higher spec DSP processor in it than H9, uh, even on the algorithms that are the same as on the H9, they're basically saying all oh, the signal quality has been enhanced. Mm -hmm. Loads and loads of different effect types, which I've not even heard of. Polyphonic pitch shifting, prism shifting, even vibes, headspace, bouquet delay. Anyway, loads of stuff. Weed whacker, wormholes. Wow. Weed whacker is good. It's like a little bit of overdrive I figured out earlier. Um, so look, we've got the uh, pedal uh, guitar into an overdrive pedal, mm -hmm. into the H90, into mm -hmm. two amplifiers, mm -hmm. and we've got the desktop editor. Um, yeah. which we're also recording as well. As far as we know, there's no app for the phone. It's not Bluetooth. So the, you, you, the the only way to go into this sort of deep diving stuff is to get ye olde yeah. fashioned USB cable and, and hook it up. It's super easy to do there as well on that display. It's nice and crispy yep. clear. Anyway, so let's I have think some stuff. Let's here. just, for like? the first four or five minutes of yeah. this video, let's just enjoy so just going through the, the, the patches. I'm going to go in. So what are we on? We are Clean ambient. So this is the... Sounds great, doesn't it? T drive hey. delay. It's got a weed oh. whacker in this. The weed whacker is the overdrive thing, isn't it? So you how you can figure that out, Lee. If you press perform here, and then you get up and you can turn. What I was going to do if I. If I yeah. It's a two-stage serial overdrive, reminiscent of a famous green pedal. Ah, because the H9 is the same yeah, thing they have in there. So, but here you can see, so I've just gone into perform mode and then... I've now turned it off. But anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. I'm going to skip out the next one wide and clean because that's what we started okay. with. So 12 string. That's the clever polyphonic bit because yeah. it's not adding the octave on your top two strings. Or, or maybe it is, but it's a little bit subtler. Jazzy bees. Great. Jazzy bees. <laughs> now, again, as well as insane tracking, which the Eventide stuff's it's always super. had uh, a great reputation yeah. for. A again, are we doing something where it's only putting the bass note on the lower? No. Nope. Okay. Man, the tracking is great. Wow. Uh, auto wah. Awaken. 
Awaken. This is different to Awoken, which is where you uh, never say anything bad about anything. <laughs> yeah, awoken. <laughs> Does that need a bit of drive? Wow. Maybe? I mean, really? I'm just looking at on the on the on the desktop editor here. So this is a polyphonic. This is this is the polyphony um, effect. Polyphony. And it's got uh, one, two. I see. So it's a dual pitch shifted um, effect, and then it's running into the tricera chorus, which obviously is a yeah. Oh, and a, which by the looks of things is a chorus. And then it says faux verb. So has this got chorus and reverb on the same algorithm? Mm, doesn't suggest it has. Sounds amazing. But have we got reverb on this? No. It's a bit of a room, isn't it? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But okay. What's his next one? Paradise Clean. Sounds good though. We'll do three more and then yeah. we'll maybe try and get into some more of the. So, what? That's some more weed wax. Green right Tide. Now, you can see here that the second oh, bank see. is switched off. So, how yeah. would I switch that on from here? There's a little on switch. Or am I. Here you go, bypass. Here we are. So, that's. <laughs> It's got nothing to do with it being hot or not. It would appear that it's, that that it's whatever that is assigned to do. So you can, depending on the algorithm you're on, you can go, I, I would like this yeah. knob to adjust whatever yeah, parameter I, I want to adjust. Uh, teacher Preacher. Oh, God. Is that sort of so a... That, uh... it's, it's a little bit of... Sounds really good in I'm here. I was just about to say the same thing. Wow. Ap apologies, I am so Mac illiterate here that I'm obviously doing some weird sort of right click thing just, every yeah, time just I press. Click one something. finger on that yeah, side. That's what I just did. Okay. Where's my HP laptop when I need it? <laughs> you just smack me with that every time you don't get a Mac right. You... That's just, that's just nice. Do one over the top. Is there one like that? It's crazy. Really over the top? I don't know. Like, I mean, what is it hard called? I don't know. Cinema trick? Something like that. That's idea. pretty over the top. Soundtrack, Shoegazer. Oh, listen. For the trails. trails. Yeah, they're an option. Tra Thank you. 
really like that, man. That, that, that weed whacker sounds wicked. If I take the delay right back on that, or the yeah. echo. Time I play it's like yes. The it's like being home so is so good, isn't it? So we're just going to go through what some of the the knobs and switches do on here. Mm -hmm. uh, select is a easy peasy one, right? So you're just going to up and down through the different presets. Hit it again to load the preset. There is another way of going up and down through the presets, which is to use the A and B buttons. So again, get to the one that you want to go to. Uh, ch 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 <laughs> Press active. Sounds Bedroom good vibes. Bedroom vibes. I don't know vibes. why I chose that. Subliminal. Yeah, um, absolutely. So that's your basic, you know, how to record patches. If you hit the performance mode, what uh -huh. happens is the three switches take on a different guise. And again, these can be programmed by you to do whatever you want to do. But on this yep. particular one, what we've got now is an overall on, on and, and off, off. switch. Yep. Or I can just turn off the first algorithm, which is the um, even vibe. Or I can turn off the second one, so which is the spring reverb. So that's nothing. What a reverb. There are also, there's a sort of a second bank of performance mode, which are control knobs that you might or control switches you'd probably be f more familiar with these where essentially it's up to you you can it's, uh, hs1 will do it's like a high-speed rail link isn't it hs1 um <laughs> this will just finished. do whatever you've pre-programmed it to do so actually so, looking over here what is changing this is changing the mix and the okay. amount of decay on the reverb oh wow so This one is doing, this is doing the reverb type and the amount of decay. Oh, really? Yeah. So this go first one? Yeah. And, oh. then the, and then the last one is doing the mix. So it's a, it's a note. It's all, almost like a bite, it's take, taking the mix yeah, yeah. down to zero. So it's, wow. So, and again, that's entirely up to you to do whatever you But you, you can do, do this while having the board down here. You don't need to sell, you yeah. need the MIDI switcher for it, right? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I That's think why you'd you can... be tap dancing a bit if you yeah, wanted but if to you do know, this without a MIDI switcher. If you know your, your you know, your, yep. your little toe there, up there and toe There there. is also this idea of assigning a hot knob to anything. So this has been assigned to the speed of the vibe oh, right. on this particular patch. So again, I can make it faster or slower. So, and again, that's almost like a, 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 a fourth sort of function, if you mm -hmm. like, as well as these switches. Yeah. Underneath the, uh, the the display, you're going to see this AB, this, sorry, three different knobs. And again, this will change per patch. So, but you've just got some very quick kind of um, access to the to some parameters that you'll well, most or? likely use. Oh, they do. Oh, they do click. Look at that. So you've got, oh, I see. Oh, so that's to the next page. I, in that. No, no, no. That's, oh, so that? this is the, this is the mix speed mm -hmm. and intensity of your effect A, so bedroom mm -hmm. vibes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, B will be the mix oh. uh, reverb type and decay of your second Ooh. patch. Do you know what? I'm, I'm sort of beginning to sort of go, you probably can ac access more than I gave it credit for. I think you can, here, but it's, I think you it's know, I know. infinitely clearer. <laughs> To sort because of do you have everything on a big the screen, editor, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, um, I remember that from the H9. It's a bit the same where you try to get into it and then you can't really figure out where you're going. Yeah. So if, I, if yeah. I go back to my program mode, there is a routing mode. So again, uh, this reminds me as well. You've got two insert points on the H90, which you can again uh, allocate to wherever you, you want it to be. Series parallel um, or whatever. Yeah, you, you are able to do the, the four cable method with this, mm -hmm. so you can have the. Um, tube screamery type effect in front of your amplifier, then your amplifier goes through one of the insert points, I think, and then, you know, essentially you've got effects then through the effects loop of oh, your uh, guitar amplifier. You can swap them back and forth, so you can have that one first and that one afterwards. Ah. Oh. Ah. Um, I, I, I just like faffing about with it, because I thought you can also do something like having them uh, series or parallel the effects. Yep. Uh, what's the difference between programs and presets then? Let's have a little look. Right, so I'm staying within the, the preset of mm -hmm. bedroom vibes, yeah. but I'm changing what the second oh. 
um, effects algorithm is. Oh, parameters is just an access menu into um, more of the parameters. Right, so this is Macintosh. called Entanglements. <laughs> Entanglements. And it is, a, is an ultra tap and a tremolo verb. Did that do the swell or did you do the swell? No, I didn't do the swell, look, yeah. look. Kinds of cool. They've always been good at this, haven't they? They've, yeah, but this will be once if you go into the into this the form one, thing, it? yeah, and yeah, then you go further ahead. Let, click it again. Yeah, see what go. all these do. Okay, go on then. So, so this this one like, allows me to. Well, no, see, no, it gives I'm me to see what's moving. It's clear on signal. Here. It's, right, it's just the, clear. So here, here right. you go. Here's without. Obviously, a speed oh, of the speed of the leave 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 And this one on here. Oh, you can only have one or the other. Oh, it's toggling oh, now between wow. them. That's changing the decay on the verb to a freeze effect. This, I mean, mm. I, I kind of feel there's no it's, way it's that so a deep, demo deep, like this deep, does, deep. does, this does, does the product justice. But it's just... Go it, another one, get another one. Yeah, it's, it's just, I, I guess you've just got to imagine the best of the best of this type of effect and a, and a very powerful little unit that can really allow you to set up. I think I'd want this as part of a MIDI board. So I'll tell you what, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking the Kernum and maybe the Kernum, the new fast Kernum. So that's your overdrive and your fast done. And then the uh, one control, which I've got a one control oh, on man. one board with this. I mean, I, mean, I think we should, bearing, I think we should mind, make that board. Bearing man. in mind the Kernum Ridge is basically roughly the same size as this and white as well. You'd have your full Stormtrooper style. I mean, Pete's I think nailed on right be... there. Kernum Ridge, so 128 patches yeah. of, of analog yeah. overdrive. Yeah. Or distortion. Yeah. The new Kernum Ridge, which is your 128 patches of fuzz, fuzz yeah. and your and H90. Then just that. What else do you need? I mean, literally, what else do you need? So we build that board. Compressor, maybe wah wah. There's a compressor in here, and there's I one here. Is you there? can, there's, you, there's expression pedals in there as well, isn't there? Fifteen minutes later. So there you go. Did you what hear he that? Said. So it's yeah. got an EQ compressor in there. Didn't, yeah. I didn't find that. But, but I'll tell you what, this sounds great. <laughs> It's no overdrive. You know what we haven't done is we haven't needed to put your overdrive nope. pedal on once. No, nope. that's right. No, nope. let's try the empty universe, like my, like my life. That's where I live, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, So 
There you go. A little bit of uh, scratching the surface of an I think H90. That's all it was, man. It was um, just like scratching the surface of the manual. I think. To be honest with you, this is the, uh, I, I know at the beginning of this video I said this was new. This has actually been out for probably six months now. Yeah. But the, it's the first every single delivery Andersons get it's gone, just, gone, yeah. gone. So I think it's the first time we've actually had these in stock. Anyway, mm. links are below. It's mm -hmm. about a thousand pounds. So it's very much sort of pro end kind of unit. Absolutely. Uh, we found uh, an effect called uh, floating in space, which is one black hole into another black hole ending just... some sort of cosmic universe collapse the ultimate universal prolapse as two black holes <laughs> basically go into each other interverts <laughs> right uh, i think we need that in this world on. at the moment don't we anyway thanks for watching links below for all this why he's laughing all the time mm.